Section 8.1, Angle Measure in Polygons. Now we've moved past triangles, we're going to talk about polygons in general. Remember we have convex polygons, and then we have concave polygons. And the difference is that these concave polygons have angles that go in between, so that if we were to connect to all the vertices, we have some angles that are in between those connections. Basically, they cave in on themselves. We're going to be focused on convex polygons. Well, in a convex polygon, such as hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F, we have what are called interior angles. And those are angles formed by the sides and on the interior of the polygon. So wherever we have a vertex, we have one interior angle. We also, though, could extend a side. We could extend two, actually, if we want to. And this will form two exterior angles here. An exterior angle is an angle formed by a side and an extended side of the polygon. It is on the exterior and forms a linear pair with the interior angle. Okay, so we notice each vertex does technically have two exterior angles, which are congruent to each other because they are vertical to one another. But we tend to only look at one exterior at angle at a time. So we can look at either side, doesn't really matter because they're going to have the same measure, but we like to only look at one exterior angle at a time. Do make sure that you understand the difference between interior and exterior angles very well because the next things that we talk about are going to really depend on that understanding. And we do have the drawing up here that you can use. Okay, a diagonal. A diagonal is a line segment that connects two non adjacent, and this part's really important, vertices in a convex polygon. For example, if I go back to my hexagon, I know that if I look at angle A here, vertex A, if I drew a line from A to B, which is the adjacent vertex, that's just side AB, and we already have that. So instead, I'm going to draw from A to C, A to D, and A to E. Thus, I have three diagonals. in a six-sided figure. Not three diagonals total, because I can actually connect now angle F to those three, and so on. But each point will have three diagonals that connect to non-adjacent vertices in the six-sided figure. Okay.